Hi guys, welcome back. It's been a while for us. Had a whole lot going on the last sort of 12, 18 months, however long it's been. Um, this video, as some of you might realise, I'm not standing in the van that we normally travel in. So, cue, intro, awesome shot of caravan on the outside. Okay, so this here, this is our new caravan. Um, part of the reason for taking so long to do videos and that is we actually got it late. So I think I picked it up about 1 a.m. halfway between where I live and Melbourne. And I got home about 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning. I slept for a whole chunk of the day, very packed. We packed a little bit more when I woke up that, that afternoon. And then we left for our, well, for an eight week holiday. So yeah, um, haven't really done an overview. There's been a couple changes in the van since that point, but anyway, let's, uh, let's take a tour. Okay, so back in the van, this is our new van. It's a Aussie Land RV branded caravan. It's built by RP Caravans, this one was. Um, down in Victoria. We went with Aussie Land for a couple of reasons. One was price, two was timing. It was late, but we still managed to get away on our holiday. And three was we could get the layout we wanted. So I didn't want to go to dual axle caravan. I wanted to stay single axle. Um, I also wanted to have the three bunks and all that. And I didn't want to go over 18 foot six in length. So we managed to come up with a layout and this is the van. So we'll start here at the front. Queen size bed, storage either side and across the top. I've put some shelving in there, but that was hanging space. I've already got my swimmers parked. So that runs all the way across the top. It's the same there. Each side of the bed has a little, little nook area. I see some cables in there. There's, I've added some 12 volt USB outlets so we can charge our phones. There's diesel heater control on the wife's side because I run hot, she runs cold, so she could be able to turn it on before getting out of bed. Um, each side has a drawer. Right. And another cupboard on it. And yeah, that's the. Master bed, each of those lights as well, and you'll see there's more of those throughout the van. Each of those lights underneath has a little USB outlet. That's what we used for our entire holiday. I didn't particularly like it, but um, anyway, that's, that's what we had. On that, so queen bed, the queen bed itself does lift up. All right, so you end up with some underbed storage. I've got some junk in there at the moment. Yeah, under bed storage. The diesel heater is actually under there. So down in there, I, I built this cover for it. The diesel heater's under there. It was exposed for our whole trip. Um, so we had to be careful about what we put under there, but I put this sturdy cover in over the top, move the outlet over a little bit, just put a cable entry hole there. Uh, the control Two for the diesel heater. I actually moved it. That used to be down under here, under this chair. Didn't particularly like that there either because that's right where little fingers get. So move that to there. Um, we do get Sirocco fans for each of the beds. There's a Dometic DRS dust suppression system. Um, I wouldn't say I was overly thrilled with the performance of it on our trip, so I might look at changing that to a Carafan unit. Um, we've got the Ranger windows and blinds. Once again, 
the look they, they performed pretty well we in the previous fan they were the ar v or atrv or whatever brand ones which are like you know spring loaded coil thing that tracks up and down these are more sturdy so if the kids push on them they don't pop out as easily they're pretty pretty firm um although you, you can and lots of people do talk about the bugs climbing in around them this one seems to be pretty good it's got bristles right up to the end i don't know if you can see any of that um so there isn't really an issue with that there but um we did find that a lot of these little caps under there little screw that goes in all the way around and those were unwinding and popping the caps off so after some of our drives you'd end up finding the cap and the screw on the floor in the van um got two fire smoke detectors i think that was because they accidentally put a hole in the roof and covered it up with a smoke detector anyway um Wine guard TV antenna, it's pretty standard in most fans. Um, uh, access vent thing, which, yeah, lets more dust in than does anything else. And then back around here, that's the control for the van. So I'll just open it up. It's a BM Pro touchscreen module thing. Um, personally, I don't like it. Um, and I don't like where it is because it doesn't, the screen doesn't actually go black. It's always got a backlight, which means it's always lit up all night long. I will end up moving it to here. And I'll clean this up and I'll put that touch unit, I don't know, I'll build a frame off the roof or something that holds it. It'll look pretty and, and be in here, but hidden in this cupboard. What else have we got? So this, well, while we're talking about this side, so this is our little seating area. It's got a table. Uh, the table is one of those, you know, this spins around and slides in and out and moves left and right and drops down. And it's part of a system that normally the, the lounge would be like an L shape. And this would drop down. You put a mattress on it. You could sleep someone else there. In the design, as I said earlier, we uh, changed some of the, the layout to get what we wanted to get more storage space and whatnot um so i actually said let's get rid of the l part of the lounge and then we'll move the fridge the fridge was meant to be at the end of the kitchen here the table itself it works really well although i'm going to change this eventually change it out go to a smaller size bit of timber and i'll probably move the mount base closer to because for Bree and I we can hop around either side of the thing that's fine and we don't need to get our feet through the middle and for the little kids I'd like to be able to get the table that's as far that way as the table can currently go and I would like to try and get it in a bit closer for them. Some of the stuff just because of timing trying to get it we ordered it with about two and a half months or something to go we sort of just took the appliances that they were going to give us so we've got this NCE microwave, works fine, no issues with it whatsoever. Uh, we've got this Thetford three-way fridge. Now, the battery system in this, I wanted at least 300 amp hours of lithium storage. I've got 200 amp hours of lithium in the canopy. So in, in hindsight, and what I may do one day is actually take this fridge out because it uses gas and put in a compressor fridge. Um, depending on what we do in this van, um, like if we hold on to this particular van for a long time, I will change the battery system to a larger lithium storage system. Um, but changing this out to a compressor fridge means I don't have to run it on gas. I can run it on 12 volt all the time. I could run it on 240 volt when we're plugged in, but we try not to go to caravan parks or, you know, pay for powered sites at caravan parks too much. Anyway, I digress. Thetford three-way fridge. It's got plenty of space in it. Um, did us perfectly for our, our trip. It's got a little freezer at the top. We added these this little baby catch here. All right, that's just to help hold the freezer door shut. The fridge actually... See if I can get it in shot. This little latch here. When you're travelling, you pull that latch over. 
and that holds that door shut and firm. They just don't do one for the top, I'm not sure why. Underneath, apart from all the red dust that we like to carry around with us, uh, gas valve, water pump, and some extra cabling. That's because I, when I did some other cabling work, I added some more cable between here and the back of the BM Pro, so I don't have to do it later. Holy dooly, he's only halfway through. Sorry, we're gonna have to do a part two. Like and subscribe. I'm gonna go back, so break cut, and then cut back.